In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform your pictures into really beautiful vector art using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Joel here back with another video and as you can see, this is the final output. Uh, now let's look at the original picture. So this is the picture that we will work on and this is what we will try to create. Now before I start the video, here are some advices. For this effect, uh, you need to know how to use pen tool, this tool as you can see here. If you don't, there are a bunch of tutorials on YouTube, you can find them. And another thing is, if you are a beginner, try to select image that is really simple. As you can see this example, hair are short, there is not a lot of details going on, which you can cover up and finish it. Okay, now let's go to the original file as you can see here. Uh, and first thing we will have to do is create the outlines where we will fill the colors. So it's pretty simple. Go and create a new blank layer from here and name it outline. Also in this effect, always name your layers, otherwise you will easily get confused. So now let's create outline. Uh, for that, uh, as you can see, I have selected my pen tool. Uh, and here are some brief overview on the tool, okay? First of all, you will make a dot. Uh, then you will make another dot, but you will not release your click. Don't release your mouse click uh, and then drag it, something like this. So it will allow you to curve it. Once you make a point, zoom in and do you see this dot here? Hold your alt key and click on that. So it will turn off the handle and now you can create another point. So I'm gonna do another click, drag my mouse and make the curvature. Then hold your alt key, close the handle and make another point and drag it. Close the handle, make another point, drag it. And this way you will have to create entire outline of the hair. In this effect, always start with the hair. It will make it easier for you to follow up on other body parts. So go and do it. So as you can see, I did the selection of the hair and as you can see here, when I was at this point, I needed to go on this side. So I went completely all the way over the face. So now we also have selection of uh, almost entire face uh, and also selection of the hair. That's why you do it first. Once your shape is ready, what you have to do is go and select your brush tool, right click and make sure hardness is 100%. And after that you have to select your brush size so from here it can be really difficult to judge so what you can do okay i know uh, what you can do is go and make it smaller using your bracket keys so you can have exact idea how bigger your stroke has to be for my file i think somewhere around it was 8 pixel or 9 pixel was fine so this is 9 pixel i think after that you have to make a stroke out of it so for that now again go and select your pen tool and as long as you have shape, you can right click here and select stroke path. Uh, so when you click on that, it will ask you. So generally I recommend not using simulate pressure and then just simply hit OK. So as you can see, it created a stroke from whatever color was in foreground. So this was mistake on our side. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna press Ctrl Z. So the stroke is gone. Now make sure that the color here is black. So whatever color is here, that will be your stroke. So it's black again. So right click and select stroke path and make sure simulate pressure is off then go and hit ok also when you apply the stroke all make sure that you have your outline layer active and not the image so you don't hurt your original image so this is clear let's zoom out after that uh, to get rid of it you can simply press delete or enter key so i'm gonna press enter and the selection is gone and now we have this really nice outline uh, on its own we good Okay, now it's time to create the facial structures. So first I will finish the entire structure, then I will explain you why I did whatever I did, okay? So I'm gonna go and select my pen tool and make sure my outline layer is active and I will first make the selection of the chin. So as you can see, I draw the path, but I didn't close it anywhere and you can directly apply stroke here as well. But before I apply the selection, as you can see here in my brush size, I make it considerably smaller compared to this one. This was somewhere around 9 pixel and this stroke will be 4 or 5 pixel. The main reason is that uh, this way we can differentiate facial structure from hair outline. So now I'm gonna again select my pen tool, 
right click and select stroke path uh, and then simply hit OK. So as you can see we have this really thin uh, stroke uh, which looks really nice. And now I'm going to go and make selection of the lips. The shape is done and now for the lips and the rest of the facial features I will make my brush even more tiny. So it is 5 pixel so let's go and try somewhere around 3 pixel. Uh, yes 3 pixel looks good. Now select our pen tool, right click, uh, stroke path and hit ok. So now if I uh, turn off the background layer you can see we have this really nice outline. Now let's turn back the background on and ok. Ok now I'm gonna finish nose, eyes and eyebrows. Also sometimes it will ask you stroke sub path so simply select that and you can do it it's completely normal. Now let's look at the eye. As you can see I made the basic shape of the eye then I added another outline for more detail and another outline under the eye. And when it came to eyelashes to make it more cartoony and keep it easier I simply created this really big stroke where in this part we will simply fill in black color and it will look completely fine. I will show you how. So all the line work is done and now let me show you where I did the changes. So the eye was completely fine and the eyebrow was simple selection. Uh, in the nose uh, you will have to take it somewhere around here. It can be a bit confusing to realize how long the nose is gonna go. So try to keep it somewhere near to the eye here. And in the lips I added a stroke line in between so we can separate both lips. And I added little bit tiny strokes here and one here so we can see the expression a little better. And when it came to put a stroke here on her neck uh, for the clothing outline, uh, I made the stroke just as thick as the hair so we can make it so we can differentiate face and cloth. Looking pretty good and all the hard work is done. Believe me, now all we have to do is just fill in color in the places just like we do in MS Paint. No big deal. So first let's start with the hair. Uh, I'm gonna go and create a new blank layer from here and rename it hair. And because we can see what is going on properly I'm gonna create a white backdrop. So for that create a new blank layer from here, uh, grab your paint bucket tool and just simply go and fill in white color. Completely fine. And now turn it off so we can see uh, what color we need. First of all, uh, we need to make selection of the hair, right? So we have this really nice outline layer where we can select things. So what you're gonna do is make sure your outline layer is active, this one, then activate your magic wand tool here, magic wand. And first thing, you make sure your tolerance is somewhere around 20% and these two things are on. And after that, you will go and click in middle of the hair. So as you can see, we have this really nice selection. Now we have to fill the color. So where we will fill it, go and activate your hair layer, here, here we, you're gonna fill it. So now go and grab your paint bucket tool, right click and select the paint bucket and you have to pick up a color from the hair. So hold your alt key and you can pick up any color you like. I advise to select a color that is little bit bright because when we add the details, it will make it brighter anyway. Okay, so let's go and try to select some bright colors. Uh, so I think this bread should be enough and when you do a click to fill up colors always make sure that your particular layer is active like we have to fill up color in hair so hair layer is active don't fill it in the outlines okay so the hair layer is active and let's fill the color looks pretty all right but as you can see if i turn on this layer one and let's remove the selection so you can go to select and deselect so now if i zoom in as you can see we have this really tiny white line so we have to get through that i'm gonna show you how Let's press Ctrl Z. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn off the white layer so we can see the model. So we are back to square one, right? We have to fill up the color. But this time, before you fill up the color, let's activate the hair layer first. Uh, you go to select, modify, uh, here modify, and you go to expand. And here you will expand your selection by one or two pixels. So let's keep two for the safe side uh, and hit OK. Now when I fill in the color, let's fill it. 
enter on this white layer to check selection uh, let's go to select and deselect now if I zoom in as you can see the color and the outline are point to point and looks better okay so that is solved now let's go and fill up color in the hair and uh, sorry in the skin and every other place so turn this off uh, let's go and create new layer uh, and name it face and what do we do we need selection of the face uh, so go and select your magic wand tool from here uh, this magic wand uh, and select your outline for the selection only okay and make a selection we also need selection for the neck so what you can do is hold your shift key and do a click here so it will select that as well after that uh, activate your face layer where you want to fill in the color and now let's expand the selection so go to select modify uh, and expand so let's go and expand to pixel hit ok now it's time to fill it so grab your paint bucket tool hold your alt key and click on any of the really nice bright skin tone and fill it once it is done go to select and deselect now as you can see we cannot see the outline so for that grab your outline layer from here and put it on top of everything now we can see it now same way i will fill up the color in eyebrows and lips Now as you can see it was a mistake on my side and I forgot to draw in details of the iris. So for that I'm just gonna simply select my outline and quickly make some strokes. Ok now better and let's fill in the colors. So activate your eye layer and Okay, we are done and this is what your final output should look like somewhere near this and if I turn on the white layer as you can see here it holds up really nice and as you can see this thick black lines instead of eyelashes holds up really nice so everything is done uh, all the hard work all the color painting is completely done the outline layers on the top now we have to add in those shading details and here is the trick you don't have to do any pen tool selection anymore so what you can do is unlock the background, hit OK. Now we have to make a copy of it. So press Ctrl J, you have a copy and rename this layer details. Now I'm gonna select this layer and put it on top of everything. Now we have to make it black and white. So you can go to image, adjustment and select where is it, desaturate. So it's black and white. After that we have to apply a filter. But before you do that, make sure your colors here are black and white completely. So then go to filter, uh, filter gallery here and in the filter gallery let me zoom out. So here you have to select in the artistic the second filter cutout. Uh, my numbers are 5, 5 and 3 but you can play around whatever settings works for you. So I'm gonna go and hit ok and then change this layers blending mode to multiply. So we have all the crazy details as you can see here. I will show you how to make it better, don't worry about it. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get rid of the unnecessary area, right? So we can make a selection. Uh, make sure you have selected your outline layer here and the magic wand tool and click anywhere outside. So you have perfect selection. Then go back to the details layer here, uh, activate it and then go and click on this little layer mask icon. So it is complete opposite of what we need. So activate a layer mask and press Ctrl I. So we have output that looks something like this and don't worry it's completely fine. First thing let's add some contrast and brightness. So go and create new adjustment layer and then select curves. Now I'm gonna go and make it a little bit brighter so we can see the skin tones and stuff properly. Uh, and then go and make it a little bit darker so we have some contrast. Then go and close it. Now it's time to adjust your colors. So how are you gonna do that? First of all let's add the adjust the color of the face. So activate it. Go to image, adjustment and go and select hue saturation. Here you can play around all day with your colors uh, exactly what you need. So as you can see if I turn it on and off now the skin color looks much better and you can do all the changes you like. So I'm gonna go and hit ok and now let's do the same with the hair. So activate your hair layer. 
So everything looks fine but I think the eyes they look a little bit dead. So I'm gonna give you a solution for that. Go and create a new blank layer. This will be on top of your details layer as you can see here, here. So now go and make sure you have selected your brush tool and you have really nice white color. Uh, after that go and do a click here and then in the same direction go and do a click here. So as you can see we have this really nice uh, shine in the eye and it looks much better. And you can always go here in the details and reduce the opacity a little bit. Uh, so as you can see now the details look perfect. Uh, so this way you can play around all day, you have all the freedom and you can create your vector arts. And for all the shading all we had to do is apply one filter and we are good to go. So as you can see this is the final output and as you have realized this effect one takes a lot of time and second it's not that easy as it seems but this detail layer is gonna save you a lot of time. So that's it for this video and I really hope that you guys learned something and found this video helpful. If you did hit that like button and if you wanna check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes plus you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the updates plus it will take you to my youtube channel where I have lots of photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop.